You know, it's taken me years to realize I I think Zero's lower half is missing. Yeah. He literally blew his ass off. Walk it off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Uh, a small note of thing of note here. All right, the track of music playing right now, which on the I think the official soundtrack, at least the one I have, is just listed as demo, which played earlier. You know, when it played there the first stage when Zero saved X. Mm -hmm. I think the track's actual name is Variable X. This is supposed to be X's theme. Like this is actually X's personal theme for the game. But not that you know it. <laughs> yeah, but let's be honest. Who the fuck thinks of this track of music and thinks X? Yeah. Yo, know, that music. It's. By X, uh, hell, by X six, it becomes painfully obvious because that track of music is that track of music is reused in that game. It is just blatantly called Zero. Shit! I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna die. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm actually gonna do this. Yeah, you've only got one stick. <laughs> yeah. See, it didn't actually even fill me up all the way. Just most of it. Yeah, so I think a full sub tank fills you up twenty gives you twenty-eight hit points. Okay, you know what? It's time to show off some charge uh, charge abilities. <laughs> Stealth camo! Oh, this is beyond that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ow. I can only imagine what that's going to look like in the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's, ready for, who's ready for a Mega Man 1 callback? Yeah. Alright. Weakness. The Horming Torpedo. By the way, this weapon is misspelled. The Horming Torpedo is, is actually called the Horming Torpedo. Torpedo. You know, I think I think it does, uh, does suck that uh, that uh, that bo that boomer doesn't doesn't have it doesn't have it doesn't have it have unique uh, hit uh, uh, hit hit fuck hit, you hit animation for his weakness. That's actually one of the things I always found made him more threatening as a lot of bosses. Like, cause virtually a lot of bosses, when you hit them with their proper weakness, you could they basically get stun locked. Worst example of that probably is Spark Mandrel. Oh yeah, Spark Mandrel is a complete joke. Well, in this game. In the GBA, in the GBA, uh... Well, not gonna say remake, but kind of. You know, GBA game, a game Extreme, you know, Mega Man Extreme. Um... Honestly... The, a lot of things in that game, like, the difficulty got ramped up to complete asshole levels. Hmm. But we'll go over that when we get to that one. Oh, that one's gonna be fun. Might be our might be the channel's first post commentary because there's a lot to do with that. Um, now we have a boss that we're not that. No, well, you know, it's gonna get completely ripped off in X4 for turning it and turn into a real Reploid. We have the Bow Spider. Um, for the longest time, I did not know this thing actually had a weakness. My friend of mine taught me and uh, taught me that. You know, apparently its weakness is the ice shotgun. Uh. But basically, we have these four lines, it creates little horizontals, and it goes back and forth along and skips along each one. So, and it gets faster as it goes, so it's just kind of, you gotta read the fucking room and tell where's safe. Yeah. Which sometimes can be really fucking hard. Oh yeah, we have also, have our, obviously, have our, our Fortress boss music, which is very... Very active and threatening. Yep. I hate spiders. Yep. Yeah, this fight gave me so much trouble as a kid. It's it is honestly a bit of a difficult ow difficult fight, especially when it starts getting low in health and it starts moving really fucking fast. Jesus. Shit! Oh, that should have took him out. Oh, are we serious? This, this fight's coming down to the wire. Fuck you! Death by lemons. I'm sorry, that fully charged shot should have killed it. It had two hits, two sticks left.
I think it'd be funny if what? during this fight those the, the, those little the, the, the little the little cross parts. If you get, if you get, if you actually stand on them, just, you get, kind of get on them and and, and, and and they act like they act like a kind of like a cable and they kind of make it bounce. Yeah, that'd be neat. <laughs> oh god. I actually say I think this is my favorite piece of music in this game, which is criminal because it never gets remixed. It's a good piece, in my opinion. Not not not, not as epic as Sigma Stage One, but yeah, but I think this is a honestly Sigma Stage One should have been the last stage music. I feel that like this counting like what the actual last stage of the game is. It sounds to be like actual like absolute final last stage music. Oh, he wants to roast some penguins. <laughs> Toasty! Eat global warming, bitch. Fucking invincibility frames. Poor Chill Penguin, he is pathetically easy with his uh, weakness. Yeah. We're well, just we're just picking on him at this point. Well, the, 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 unfortunately, the, 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 a lot of Mega Man bosses from both of, from, from, from from any of the any of the variations could could, could be could 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 be could be lumped in like that. Unfortunately, well, I'll say it, it's a failing of the Mega Man franchise once it got to the um, 16-bit era. Cuz the classic series all the weapons did was do more damage. You know, so like, now, I think they, in general, did a lot more damage than the weapons in this game will do. But... Oh, god damn it! That's not what I'm trying to do. Ah! My controller's fucking me up again. Because I want to keep this. Alright, now I'm gonna go. Yeah, because in the 16... In the 16-bit games, forward, is when they start adding, like, these... The, the obnoxious, you know, knockbacks to things. I feel gypped. God damn it. No, hit the wall. Thank you. Because. <laughs> you guys can cut this shit out. And... Oh, look at this. I wonder what we're going to fight out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's an attack we didn't get to see last time. <laughs> don't kill him yet. Huh? I suppose don't, ki uh, don't kill him yet. You never got a chance to do his tornado. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, was that really necessary? <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering where the checkpoint is. All right, fine. I was hoping I could, might get the, we might get through the fight, fight again. <laughs> ah, god damn it! I forgot to show that. I, I I completely forgot that we didn't get to see that last time. Uh, hmm. Yeah, charge shots. And we have Spark Mandrel's big brother. <laughs> Wrong to Bongda. For all those people that wanted to fight a whole goddamn room. Is it possible to kill the nose before everything else? Yes, you can, and you, it's literally the last thing you want to do. Because if you do that, the walls don't open back up. Ah. 
and the eyes still come after you, which basically means you have to do the whole fight on the wall, and the eyes, and you don't know which eyes opening. Um, I think this thing's work weak against Boomer Quanger's weapon. Oh, okay, I, I pissed it off now. Red Eye. Okay, I was wrong about the weakness. Why do I think that thing is as that was its weakness though? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't the mask end up showing up in another later game? Uh yeah, this actually the boss is re is revisited in uh, X5. Oh, God damn it, come on. Well, the spikes at the bottom are instant kill. <laughs> Very rarely are spikes not insta kill in Mega Man. <laughs> True, but you know, it, it, since they're part of a boss, I felt it's necessary to specify that they are actually, in fact, properly killed. They are very killy. Well, it's not like you're fighting Spike Wall, man. <laughs> this is kind of close. <laughs> yeah. God damn it, that was safe. Let's see, I think this is. Nope. <laughs> and now he's naked. Look how much easier this is with the weakness. Yeah. <laughs> Take it from me, everybody. Do not fight him with just the buster. <laughs> oh, okay, that shot passed straight through me after he fired it. It didn't hurt me, so I'm pretty sure he can't kill you after he's dead. <laughs> yeah, don't fight him with the buster, unless you're a masochist. Like me. <laughs> oh, more fun more fun with, na with enemy names. The bats are called bat bones, as opposed to the batons of the original series, and those uh, pickaxe story motherfuckers are called degravers. God damn it. Ah! Try to climb up there. I want the fucking health. Right, there we go, and... Well, there we go. Yeah, I'm not sure who this is. Right. <laughs> I don't know, if you aim that right, can you, can you, can you cut his tongue? Um, I don't think so. 
Unfortunately, the problem is it, when you, when you jump, it angles down. Yeah. <laughs> that just makes this fight almost pure comical. <laughs> yeah, but like, you know, like the original Mega Man X, I say the original Mega Man. Oh shit, gotta get that. Uh, <coughs> no time to fucking cycle through. Damn it! Oh. Just barely missed that. Yeah. yeah, but like the original Mega Man, you know, you don't have a dedicated boss room, you, you know, like boss refight room. You have, um... Here we go. You know, you actually fight bosses at set places. Do you see why I fought everybody with just the Buster initially? Because Jesus Christ! Without it, it's so much easier. It's almost—it's just pathetic. Trivializes shit. You know. Gee, I can guess who's coming up next. Um, I'm gonna go with Flame Mammoth. Beat <laughs> me to it. No, no. Where is it? There it is. Now I will not be cutting off his tentacles this time, so you can actually see his attacks. <laughs> you are going down. Or this time I'm also going to be using his actual weakness, so. You can see I use his tentacles to fire like really big missiles. So he, he launches a home, the homing torpedoes with his with his tentacles. Yeah. Yeah, he's actually one of the bosses that's more like a typical like classic Mega Man boss where your weapon the weapon just does more damage as opposed to completely gimping the fight. Honestly, that stuff's like, it's, it's like half there with this game, it gets really bad later. Uh, I don't really care about all that stuff. So, this one should be process of elimination. Yep. Actually, wait, I gotta cut off his trunk first. <laughs> yep, just maim and disfigure him before you kill him. There it goes. Nice pick! <laughs> he does look like a pig without the trunk. You know what? You know what he kind of like, looks like. Kind of looks like with the, without the trunk. Hmm. Oh. It looks like a robotic version of Boob, Boob's the Bat's pissed off dad. <laughs> I could buy that actually. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's kind of accurate. <laughs> it's the ears. Yeah. Okay, I think that was the last one. 